Hey, welcome back. My name is Al, and if you have never heard of Z-Spheres, this video is for you. It'll be quick, I promise. Let's do it. What I'm gonna do here is take the concept art that I found on Instagram, killer art, absolutely lovely. Position it in the middle of my screen, linked above is how to do that. And I'm gonna take these Z-Spheres and literally just trace to get all the proportions nailed down, to get where the arms go, the legs go, get the really funky curvature of the tail, everything that I need. This process, for this character to block it out literally took nine minutes counted i kept track it was nine minutes what i like to do is do uh, the end point and then do all those joints in between so by pressing q on my keyboard i can draw and i literally am just basically like dropping in these little joints the nice thing about doing it this way with z spheres is that i can basically use these joints as an armature i can just rotate the whole tail if it's off i can scale the torso and it's super super quick super easy very intuitive so to block out a character it's insanely quick to do with these spheres if you haven't checked it out you should so let me know in the comments below does blender have anything like this do they have any add-ons anything like this or do they just have something like Z spheres that are implemented, but I would like to use it in Blender. Also, instead of like starting with a sphere, imagine this starting as a sphere and me just pulling down the tail and then just pushing, pulling. It's really tough to do, especially to nail the proportions. So if you don't do it right the first time, you're going to have to adjust and get it right. ZBrush also has the Zizu, uh, which is just a, a folder with dozens of different animals to start you off with. Those are fun too. Thanks for sticking around for this video. I will see you next time.